So you want to get a job at the AutoZone warehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. What should you expect for your interview slash tour? Watch the video to find out more. Please like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. And give me a comment if you have anything to add. Thank you. AutoZone warehouse does do drug tests when you first... Uh, apply it's a urine test and they do random drug testing there so be advised that they do have random drug testing at AutoZone warehouse just to be clear you can schedule an interview uh, any other day of the week but it will be um, through indeed and not in the office and on Thursdays, they do interviews from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can go in whenever you want. You don't have to tell them when you're going in. And um, it's an interview slash uh, tour. At AutoZone Warehouse or the DC for a job interview. I think this is the employee parking. I'll let you know how it goes. Done with interview. It was so freaking long. It was basically an interview slash uh, walkthrough slash everything all in one. Now I have to go and do a drug test. And it's already one o'clock. What time is it? Yeah, it's 1.12 now and I got here at 11 o'clock. I wish I would have known that it was going to take this long. What to expect when you apply for a job at uh, Phoenix, Arizona uh, warehouse for AutoZone? Uh, make sure, well, I uh, filled out the job application on Indeed which they don't even direct you to go to their website to fill out that application as well. So what you'll want to do before your interview slash orientation, which I guess is they only do uh, interviews and uh, like a tour on Thursdays. So you'll want to fill out the job application online before you go. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it while you're there. So, um, I've, um, talked to a recruiter through, via Indeed, and, um, my interview and tour were today, and I got in there, uh, didn't even know what to expect. It took me two hours to do the whole thing so just to let you know it's gonna be a lot of time that you spend in there um probably more time for me because i didn't know i had to fill out an application online through their website um before i went in which is something that the recruiter should probably tell you but they don't and uh so i got in there um I think you're supposed to let the security guard at the gate know that you're there for an interview, but um, nobody was at the security office when I went through. Um, the Where you go in is like a door, it's in front of the picnic area, and there's a door to the right. And then there's doors to the left, so you're going to take the door to the right, and it goes up uh, two flights of stairs, and you go up in there. Then you wait in there for the person that comes out and does your interview. Uh, my recruiter was apparently Starla, but she goes as Star in an email. And um, my interviewer was Star. Uh, yeah. So, um, you feel, when you first get in there, oh, don't bring any knives because they frisk you on the way in. They have, uh, 
a, a metal detector wand and the frisk you. I told them that I had my multi-tool on me and he just checked it at the door until I walked until I was done and I walked out and then he gave it back to me. So leave those in your car. Um, when I first went up there, I checked uh, after the security guard, I checked in at this little t desk and um, you fill out paperwork or one piece of paper and then they ask you to sit and wait. And then your interviewer comes out and she does an interview with you. That was star for me. And um, after your interview, you go back out. Make sure you know what shift you want. Otherwise, the interviewer might get frustrated with you like she did with me. And then um, they do a walkthrough of the warehouse. Um... So they had about four people, and we did a walk a walkthrough of the whole warehouse. Um, and then uh, we went back up into the interview area where you check in. And um, she asked us if we filled out the application online, which I didn't. So I think me and the other dude, we had to fill out the application and then you have to agree to the pre-hire notice and then you have to uh the pre-hire notice is kind of long too actually and then you have to um then you get your drug uh test paperwork and also a paper for a background check and um then you get to go, but that all of that took two hours. I was not expecting it to be that long. After my interview, though, I got I went to um, I went to get the drug test because you only have three days to do the drug test, and they don't have any appointments available on the weekends. So if you don't do your drug test within three days of getting of having that pre-hire, then you're disqualified or something. She was explaining it to other people, but I don't think she explained it to me. So make sure you get your drug test done. And then I was at the drug test place for another hour. So you, uh, I think they took everybody that had appointments before me. That was a long time. So about three hours to do uh, AutoZone interview is a lot of time. I know that's like the longest time I've ever spent in a for a first time. AutoZone Warehouse does do drug tests when you first uh, apply. It's a urine test and they do random drug testing there so be advised that they do have random drug testing at AutoZone Warehouse. So they also give you a piece of paper to, and they say that you're going to get an email from them in 30 minutes to an hour after your, after you leave for your interview slash tour. And they say to go on the website and, um, give them permission to do a background check and... I tried to fill it out when I was at the uh, drug testing place, which was, I uh, forget the name of it, but I'll have to call Concentra in Estrella, and you go the, to the drug test place. I tried to fill it out at the drug test place, but um, I couldn't get my addresses, and it kept, it kept on having me do it over and over and over again, and it wouldn't go to the next stage. So I'm going to try and do it again this evening or tomorrow and see if that works. And finally, another note. Um, she said that uh, the background check and the drug test should take a week for them to know 
if you passed or not. I think they wait more on the drug tests than they do the background check because she insinuated that you might already be starting and your background could check could, could come back and uh, they have a flag on it and then mm, if you have a flag on your background check you would have to stop working there I don't know so mostly you're just waiting on the drug test to come back for a week